So I started my day out with another grapefruit cinnamon tea and it had ginger and I added a little bit of honey to sweeten it. I know some vegans may crucify me for adding honey to a vegan recipe. I don't really care. Honey is sustainable if you know where you get it from and a lot more sustainable than sugar, like sugar, brown sugar or cane sugar or anything like that. I made this because I was recovering from a cold and it really helped me and it tasted amazing. After making my delicious tea combination, I went outside and enjoyed my tea on my porch in my backyard because it was a beautiful Georgia day today. And this is one of the things I love about Georgia, even though I do prefer to travel and be abroad. I feel like a lot of cities in Georgia really combat and cooperate with nature, whereas compared to the place I was born, <laughs> New York, New York City is so chaotic. It's days like this, I really do appreciate being in the suburbs of Georgia, these beautiful spring days whenever I'm in the States. After enjoying my amazing tea on my porch and in nature, I went inside and went ahead and started to prepare my daily juice. I love to have a juice every day. It's just the best way to prepare my stomach for the food I'm about to put inside of it. I decided to make a beet juice today with oranges and celery and obviously beets and a whole bunch of different things. So I've kind of been struggling to find oranges with seeds lately and it really sucks because once you go abroad, especially to a country that really appreciates nature, you see a whole bunch of different fruits with seeds in them, glorious amazing seeds. So when I was abroad, I feel like I was taking all these different fruits for granted because back home here in the States, oh my goodness it's such a struggle to find seeds in oranges and other seeds but when i do find seeds in my oranges and watermelon i literally leap with joy but i feel like we've been deprived as humans that we get happy whenever we see seeds and fruit because that's such like a basic necessity I kind of refer to juicing as an art. It's my absolute favorite thing to do when it comes to cooking. I love to juice as many different fruit and vegetables as possible, but it also looks so pretty. Even me juicing through this juice bag, it kind of looks like a heart of a human, okay? But it also kind of looks like an art project, like, ooh, Picasso. I like it. After making my daily rising juice, I decided to do some yoga and just really stretch out. And my day doesn't feel the same without doing yoga and stretching, so I love to incorporate this every single day. And today was an off day, I was not working today, so I had time to really just relax and cook what I wanted to and do my yoga and everything and enjoy the day without having to worry about logging on. I keep 
So for lunch, I've decided to make this like black bean Buddha bowl. It definitely did not disappoint. It was absolutely delicious. So my first step was to make and season some quinoa, but I didn't want to season it too much, even though you see me throwing an abundance of seasoning in the quinoa, just enough to have it be fragrant and tasty and have some flavor. So apart from the quinoa, I was chopping up some potatoes to toss into the air fryer as a side dish for the Buddha bowl to have some crispy potatoes. I feel like some orange sweet potatoes or Japanese sweet potatoes would have been amazing, equally as amazing as well. But with my potatoes, I'm just going to go ahead and wash and season them. After seasoning my crispy potatoes for the air fryer and throwing some seasoning and putting it in the air fryer, I feel like I just repeated myself. I went ahead and fluffed up my quinoa and chopped up some zucchini for a zucchini and onion saute that was going to be served alongside my bowl. I initially wanted to have some greens like kale or lettuce or spinach or something, so that would have definitely been more preferred as opposed to zucchini, but it was a Friday and I was running low on food in the fridge, so I just had to make do with what I had. After the zucchini and onion saute mixture, I actually had this leftover pad thai from the day before and I decided to serve it cold and season it up and rehydrate it with some artichoke water and put it on the side of my bowl. And then I wanted to go ahead and get some black beans ready as my protein. I didn't add any onions or any other thing, I just seasoned it with some dry seasoning like uh, garlic powder paprika, turmeric, curry powder, and I just seasoned it until a little bit more of the water evaporated and the beans were reheated and ready and delicious. Here comes the assembly of the bowl. All the flavors were like melting in my mouth, or I guess you could say in my nose because I hadn't tried it yet. But after I did try it, it was amazing. It was so delicious. And then I decided to top it off with some plant-based queso I had gotten from Trader Joe's. And I just love these Buddha bowls. I feel like they look so pretty. They're so aesthetically pleasing. They're delicious, they're tasty, and they're clean. They make me feel so light sometimes when I eat, I feel really, really heavy. Here is a snack, just literally some pineapple and some oranges, and this really hit. It was so delicious. This is one of the juiciest pineapples I've ever had. I can't necessarily say in my entire life, but probably one of the juiciest American pineapples I've ever had, is what I can say. For dinner time, I have decided to do a Jamaican style chickpea curry. Uh, this is one of the easier dishes, even though it is so flavorful and is so delicious. I really just chop up some tomatoes, some onions, some scallions, some bell pepper, all the seasonings. I would have added thyme and other things, but I didn't have it on hand. And I season it with 
curry powder, onion powder, garlic powder, a whole bunch of different things, and I saute it with water. Okay, I love to saute things with water, and I try not to use oil unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay, I decided to serve this dish with white rice because this is all I had on hand, but initially I would serve it with some parboiled rice at least, or preferably brown rice. I really do not like white rice. It has no nutrients and it just kind of looks like it's been bleached to the heavens. So my preference is definitely to just serve with brown rice, but this is all that I had on hand. And my mom is kind of a picky eater and she prefers white rice and I was making this for the both of us. At this point, my kitchen was smelling amazing. This is why I absolutely love this dish. It is so easy to make and so fast and everything just takes so short. I even made the chickpeas from scratch, not even from a can, and everything was just so fast. It was delicious. The way my mom taught me how to make curry, she never taught me to put coconut milk in there. That was just her preference. She's not a fan of creamy things. So that is the style that I have taken on, but you know, everybody cooks things in a different way, so. Anyways, this was everything that I ate today on a weekend edition. I thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed all the recipes, and as always, there will be more to come, and I hope you have a beautiful day.